Ooh, welcome back to Let's Play Elmia. Last time was, oh, probably the roughest experience I've had with this game in terms of lag and crazy level design and just controls not working and oh god. So I made some minor adjustments to my recording settings and PC such that maybe we won't have to deal with it this time? But anywho, without further ado, let's go back into the forest at night. So it seems we've returned back from our long-winded journey. Oh no! Little Lom! Aww. Aw, she's okay. So long as you're okay, little buddy. That doesn't sound good. Well, jeez, well, jeez, okay. Is that red? What's that little red warp right there? That's, that seems interesting. Can I get that? Oh, there's vines. Hello. Ow. Okay, okay. At least things are running smoother, that's for sure, with all the water and such. The forest is evil! No! Oh, it's all going to junk. It's all going to junk. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I kind of wish you could destroy multiple little floaty things at once. That'd probably be a bit more helpful. Or oh, there's rocks falling? You're kidding me. All the obstacles. Also, I gotta get up. I gotta get up and get some air. Oh, it's going to crazy. It's going crazy. Oh god, I remember his Pino Bees fight where you literally had a hit on him. That was it. Hey! Did we win? Oh no. Oh boy, we gotta go, little girl. Let's go! Oh, I can just warp infinitely. Yes! Yes, this is what I wanted. Yes, this is so cool. Ouch. Not like I wanted to go past that wall anyway. Aw, oh, this is so cool. And the music's great, it's ah. Oh. And there's no lag. How exciting.
Oh, don't don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Oh, I need to. Okay. I need to actually do this properly. I did that very wrong. I keep, like, I'm so used to having just two that, like, having multiple warps is, like, crazy. Because now I can just go like this the entire time. It's all based on where I want to go. So I can actually, I have to, like, reposition myself with this, but also to reposition my fairy, which is unusual because normally we reposition ourselves so that we can move the fairy around, but now I have to do a bit of both, which is cool. Oh, I warped. The darn thing about our auto scrollers, at least like literally every platformer ever is like if you die like let's just say halfway through a Mario level and it's an auto scroller you have to go through the entire first half again you can't speed run it or anything you have to take your time and wait because it's an auto scroller you go on its time which is fine because when you're first playing it's like all right yeah okay you know it's giving me time to think I can really position my jumps and everything and then you play it again you're like all right yeah here comes the here comes the, you know, thingies, here comes that one auto scroller level, uh, was it? 5-6 in Mario 3 that no one liked because you were on platforms that weren't really platforms, they were like Koopa Troopa's wings that kept flying up every time you stepped on them. Ugh. Annoying little buggers. Go, go, go! Oh my god! Did it again! That was on me. I was like try repositioning myself and it worked out too well. focus a bit so apologies for not talking too much. Just trying to like really make sure that I don't screw anything up early. Because I don't want to have another 8-5 where these things just like never... Go 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 go! That's a lot of that! Holy crap! Like you can see ahead of it it's like... We were doing that for a while. Cause I yeah, we don't want another 8-5 where I'm there for at least 10-20 minutes just trying to figure out a level. I didn't really figure it out, just like hope that I don't die. Go, 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 go! I don't care about damage, I don't care about damage, I just gotta go. Well, I do care about damage, but not that much. No, I got stuck! Wait, no, I got stuck! <laughs> Damn, I got stuck and I actually paused! No, I accidentally paused. Ah, oh, that's a long level, holy crap! What was that, like, 40 seconds? That's the longest escape level. 
Well, to be fair, most of the levels are like reaching above 60 seconds, so... Man, what a time when 60 seconds is a long time for a level. There's probably a way better way to do that section, but you know what? Whatever. Okay, don't die by like actual damage. Yes! Oh, I had one heart left. Oh, baby. Yes! Oh, little fairy friend, no! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, little guy! No! Run, little elm, run! I'm thinking of making Elmia my channel icon. I think it'd be like it'd be really adorable and cool. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, she came back! Sweet! Oh look, it's animated! Sweet! So that's Almia. At least a blind playthrough of it. It was a short game, and that was the intention, is I wanted to play a shorter game that I could get out there in the middle of Clonod, so it's not just Clonod, it's not too boring, and something a bit more high intensity where I'm a bit more involved than just reading something that's on the screen. Um, and so this came up on my Steam Recommended, and after taking a look at it, I said, hey, you know what, this would be a pretty fun game to play. It seems intense enough that it might get some interesting commentary out of me, but also it'd be really fun to do. I enjoyed playing heartfelt and fun games like Rakuen, and I enjoy things with good stories. I think Elmia has a great story even though I couldn't really understand what the storybook pages were saying. I still basically got the general idea. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what it was though, but hey, we did it. I think the music in this game is fantastic, and while I guess my own personal skill may, may me lead to more deaths than probably intended, I definitely think there are moments in this game where the warping gets a bit funky. Especially in the later levels, when you're just throwing all these homing wisps at me and you're just expecting me to have per like frame-perfect warps, but... Like... They're not exactly that doable, to say the least. I don't know, I could just be over-speculating a bit and I just need more time with the game and more skill, to say the least. Maybe now that I've changed some settings and I don't have lag, things will be a bit better? Maybe it'll be a lot more responsive when I try to warp into a fairy, per se, and whatnot. I definitely think that there's a bit of a learning curve with having your right stick or the arrow keys move a little fairy around, along with you moving just only left and right. But it's still fun nonetheless, and I definitely would recommend getting this game if you're into these types of platformers, or if you're just an average platformer person yourself. It's a very fun platformer. I'm 
made by I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Acer Acernia? This is the big adventure of the girl. I wish you a peaceful, enjoyable day. Let's meet again. Goodbye.